I just got to say first that um, I was I was just in awe of uh, what you know you put your guys through because literally the training I could never do what you guys do. So firstly, I got to say like you know like congratulations on everything and even like for everything that you do in terms of like training your pro fighters and me seeing it today like I was just like I felt so good seeing it. I was just like even like some of the training parts that you did with them. And I was just like, wow, it's, this is amazing to see what firsthand, like, how do you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? Like you're going through that, knowing that you're achieving with your pro fighters and feeling like, you know, you're conquering with your pro fighters. Yeah, amazing. Um, at first, it's, it's funny you say what you said, what you said, because on social media, mm. you know, you can hide behind social media. Yeah. But what I try to do with my uh, platform is whatever you see there, yeah. I want you to be able to see the same thing in reality. Yeah. And sometimes you don't see that on social media. So that there's no blurred lines. Exactly. People can, you know, you know, make it all up basically. Yeah. So I'm glad you said that because I've, I always say that, listen, if you come down to the gym, and then you're going to see the same thing that you see on social media. So Yeah, because it looked pretty intense, like even with your training just now, like, uh, you know, with Kenny in, in, in particular, like, like how how much does it take for it to be like, um, you know, when you're prepping fighters for their fights, like, um, do you intensify your training as like, say, if a fight is announced uh, going forward that you intensify training or is it literally you keep to the same level as what you've always been doing? Like, how does your training, does it vary like depending on the fighter? Um, yeah, well, d the thing is about fighters, they all have different personalities. Yeah. So I think a good coach, you have to, uh, a good coach will understand those different personalities because they're human beings, right? So yep. they all act in different ways. So you have to understand them as human beings. If you can understand them as human beings and their personalities, then it's easier to, um, you know, lock in what you yeah. need to lock in to them, you know? So that's, that's um, the first thing. And then when it comes to having a date, yeah, we do intensify things, but it goes in stages, you know what I mean? Because right. you don't want them to peak too early and right. then they get in the ring and there's nothing nothing to there work for them, with, you yeah. know what I mean? But all year round, if you're, if you're a boxer, especially someone that's on the way up, mm. you have to stay in the gym. It's not You don't necessarily have to train at 100%, mm. but you have to keep that mind active, that body active. You have to keep on learning. Yeah. That's the most important thing that, when you don't fight is what are you learning when yeah. you're not fighting yeah that's yeah. important i mean it, when it came when it came to you know training pro fighters when did you get to that point of like this is this is my destiny in terms of where i'm getting to because i know that um you know undefeated as a boxer yourself um and then of course like you know you hung up your boots on undefeated and you got your training license like when did you get to that point of like okay this is my journey now in terms of wanting to you know, teach the next generation of fighters to, you know, to be on that level to what you've learned as a boxer over the years? <sighs> well, <laughs> I think it started from when I was younger, that mentality, because we've had discussions about, you know, my mental health and, yes. and stuff like that. So, you know, being raised in foster homes from the age of two, um, getting raised with 14 different families, going through a lot of trauma, um, that's built that's made me into a man of steel. Mm. So when it comes to boxing, it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. Mm. It's a selfish sport. Yeah. Um, so this is a world where I created for myself and it's a world that nobody can destroy. Right. Like people destroyed my, my, my childhood. So, so I know what I want yeah. in this game. I know where I want to get to. I know the caliber of fighters I want to train so I don't just take on just anyone because yeah. I don't want to be second best. I don't want to waste my time. Of course. Um, a lot of coaches just do it because they just want to coach boxers. Yeah. I do it because one, I'm passionate. Yes, but I can two, see. I'm, a, I'm a winner. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man. And it certainly shows in your pro fighters as well, especially like, you know, uh, the past event, you know, King Kenny winning against Face Sensei. Obviously, Deji's massive win yeah. against Fusi. Um Take me through that night in terms of how you felt emotionally as far as like, you know, you saw your fighters, they're going at it and literally, 
you know, to pick up the W's. Because um, I even seen like when Deji, I think it was his, uh, I think it was his second or third round. Yeah. Uh, before you went, uh, before like it was the end of the second round, I believe for Deji, and you just went in. You was like, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I saw done when it. you went in. I was like, yes, you got this now. Yeah. Just yeah, one I done more. A, I done a uh, like uh, I pulled him into my chest. Yeah, yeah I you saw that. I, mean? I was like, like, uh, I was like yeah, you got this, man. Aggressively. Yeah. And I, and I, and I slapped him around the face. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I slapped him around the face and I said, well, that, that's, what, what, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Actually, one of my fighters, Martin, was in the crowd. Yeah. While the fight was going on, I was so impressed with what Deji was doing. Yeah. And so confident that this ain't going to last that long. Right. That I actually walked away from my corner and like fist pumped uh, my fighter to say, you see what he's doing? Yeah, 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 you of course. I mean? So, um... Yeah, it was an amazing experience to have my uh, brother, you know, come from someone that don't know how to box in such a short space of time. And, you know, professional boxers, there's yeah. not a lot of professional boxers that can even get in, be comfortable with taking that ring walk in front of a thousand people, mm. let alone 20,000 20, at O2 yeah. Arena. So yeah. for someone with no experience, to step and make that walk yeah. to the ring in front of 20,000 people, that alone is courage, yeah. you know, and shows character. So yeah, I'm very proud of my brother and obviously Deji from where he's come from and the, the, the shift in his mentality. Yes. And the way he goes about training now. He's yeah, definitely matured o over yeah, the past, yeah. but like this year alone, like yeah. you see the growth that he's made like in a short span of time. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, right? So the, the training part for me is the easy part. Yeah. Teaching, I've, I've been in boxing my whole life. Of my, course. My brothers were fighters. I, were a fight, I was a fighter. So the knowledge I have for the game is always there mm -hmm. and I'm always still learning every day as a coach. But the, that's the part I never worry about, the teaching part. Yeah. The, what's, the part that I worry about is the mentality side. Mm. You know, the heart, the grit, the desire, the dedication, the focus to want to wanna be the best and get to where you want to get to. Yeah. So if you can tap in to a fighter's mentality and, get, and, and for them to be on the same page as me, that we live and breathe this, blood, sweat and tears, and we do everything we can possible to be the best mm. and come out victorious, mm. and then, yeah, then we're gonna have one hell of a partnership. That, that's your vibe of winning, is just like your mentality of already to push and you know make sure that your fighters get that win and get that push. And you know, I can see it in your eyes that, that like, you want your fighters to be the absolute best. Like you said, like, you don't wanna be second best, you wanna be number one. Yeah. So I can see that in your mentality. I mean, the past couple of months for you as a coach must have been crazy. Yeah. I mean, you know, of course, with the wins we just talked about, you training your pro fighters, and now, as you announced on Monday, yeah. Deji yeah. versus Floyd Money Mayweather. Yeah. I mean, has it, is it, I mean, obviously it's been the past couple of days, has it, has it even sunk in yet that no, this is no, no. reality? No, it hasn't sunk in. Uh, Floyd is one of my idols. Yeah. Um, grew up watching him. I can replicate him and imitate him pretty well. Um, so um, we'll be doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, because I saw your video where you were imitating like certain fighters yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, so you kind of know what his background because is Because I anyway. don't watch coaches. Right. There's coaches that watch coaches to learn, right. but I watch fights. Ah, okay, so, interesting. Because at the end of the day, I'm training fighters, right? Yes. What are they doing? They're getting in the ring to fight. They're not yeah. getting in the ring to, to do pad, coached, pad yeah. work, right? Yeah. So I analyze and I don't, I don't, get a fight and I'm like, right, I'm gonna put this fight on because I wanna study this. Mm. I just watch fights and then my brain works its magic. Mm. And then I pick out certain scenarios that I've subconsciously that I've seen mm. and uh, we do it in the gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just makes it more real. Yeah, and I can I, I saw your video where like, you know, you were sitting there thinking like, how is this even happening? And, um, and obviously of course, like, you know, with Deji, like, you know, you're friends with him, you're training him. And, you know, you will get the opportunity to be opposite the corner to arguably one right, of the yeah. best boxers to ever live. Does that ever, does that put you in like a conflict of interest in a way? Because knowing that you're training Deji, yeah. but then you are across to one of your idols. Does that ever put a conflict of interest as far as where you are at for that? Or is it literally just like you still are focused at the job at hand with Deji? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm I'm a professional man. Yeah, so of course. It's tunnel vision. Yeah, 
you know so um obviously oh he's one of the greatest fighters to ever live so i respect him um uh, not only as a boxer but as a businessman um a lot of fighters can learn from the way he's gone about things because if you if you think back to when Floyd first started off, he was pretty boy Floyd. Yeah. That's when he was a menace. That was when he was cocky. That's when he was mouthy, getting his opponent's faces and all that. It was when he turned to money Mayweather, yeah. he was more the businessman. Yeah. So a lot of fighters can take a lot from Floyd Mayweather and how he conducts himself yeah. and um, how he's market, you know, the marketing side of things. Floyd Mayweather is Floyd Mayweather, Yeah. you know, no, there's never going to be another Floyd Mayweather. So what I've told Deji is, right, first and foremost, it's an exhibition. Yeah. There's no records on the line, right? So he just needs to enjoy this experience. Yes, I saw Enjoy the moment. He's got nothing to lose. Yeah. Yeah, go out there, give, give it his all, you know. Mm. And, um, you know, and put his stamp on Floyd Mayweather because yeah. he's, he's not young. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, against that Japanese guy at the weekend, uh, there was there was holes in his games. I was like, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, it, it was a bit like, ooh, 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 I was wait a minute. And that's why I think Floyd pressed him yeah. more. He was like, hang on a minute. I can't let this happen to me. Yeah. But um, yeah, you could see his reflexes are not really the same as they once was. You know, he's a bit flat footed now. It doesn't move a lot and stuff like that. But it is Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. So we've got to respect him to the highest level and be prepared for that. Yeah. Is the training going to be any different? Because obviously, like, you know, you're training uh, with Deji lead up to Fusey. Um, you know, we saw the results from that. Now, obviously, this is Floyd Mayweather that we're talking about at this mm. point. Like, is there any intensifying of the training? Is there anything different as far as the training that will prepare Deji for this fight? Hmm. Yeah, um, I'm always the same mentality wise when it comes to training. So, yeah, so nothing it's, different. It's, it's nothing different as in how I go about business, right. but it's more more the technical side of things. Right. Tactical side of things. Yeah. You know, like I'm going to put on a head guard myself. Yeah. Not spar, full out spar, but I'm going to replicate Floyd because I know how to replicate him, mm. you know, just just so he can mentally prepare for Floyd. Yeah. And how do you think that um, the uh, how do you feel that with Deji and Kenny, like how they've improved over the time of, you know, working with you as a coach? Like, what do you think are the biggest improvements that they both made? Like, you know, in general. Just um, their all round game, mm -hmm. you know, because there's one thing getting in the ring and throwing a bunch of punches. Mm. But then, uh, you know, the other thing is understanding the game. Yeah. Knowing when to move and not to move, knowing when to put your hands up and not put your hands up, knowing when to faint, knowing when to have a rest period within the round, not waiting for the one minute to yeah. rest, knowing how to manipulate rest time, active recovery, uh, dictating with a jab, level changes, the art of holding, rough on the inside, being dirty, being, mm. being um, um, what's the word, spiteful, mm. you know? So, um, yeah, that's that's what I'm into, man. Yeah. I'm into intelligence, yeah, but being spiteful behind that intelligence. Wow. Yeah. So there's a method to the madness as yeah. far as going in there. I don't know if you had a chance to see the, uh, there was an impulsive uh, video podcast that, yeah. uh, that was out yesterday. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. I haven't seen it, but I think I know what you're going to say because I've heard something. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the, the main thing that they were saying that, you know, the general consensus is they're behind Deji, uh, and they want to see him win. Uh, but there was one comment that stood out uh, from Mike and said that uh, Deji can single-handedly uproot the entire tier system of YouTube boxers with this one fight. And then went on so much to say that, you know, say like Floyd takes his eye off for one second, Deji sparks him in the jaw, and then surpasses the likes of Jake Paul and KSI mm. to be the, the top of the influence of boxing. Is this something you agree with? I mean, obviously you said that, you know, Deji will be dangerous in the ring in an interview like some time ago. Yeah, yeah, and he was against Fuzzy, right? Yeah, he yeah. De definitely was. Yeah, um, well, it's Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, of course, no, of course, like this is this is no this is no joke. There, I know? think I think him just he, 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 even he, even it even if he didn't knock out Floyd Mayweather and it went a distance, yeah, Deji's gonna look like a goat, a million bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah, going a distance with one of the greatest fighters that's ever lived. Mm. That's that's an achievement right there. Yeah. Now, enjoy the experience, man. Yeah, 100%. If I could get in with Floyd tomorrow, I would. 
You know what I mean? I yeah. think anyone would. It'd be stupid not to, because for me, like one of my idols is Dwayne Johnson, like yeah. The Rock. I grew up on him watching WWE. Like exactly, if I had yeah, the opportunity to, to sit in a restaurant with him, chat with him for or hours. Or get in the ring and wrestle. Like, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about me. I mean, if I got the people's elbow on me, I mean, it might be a bit different, but at least I can say, oh yeah, I got that from The Rock. Yeah. I still wouldn't say no though, because it's like the opportunity is there. It's like once in a lifetime opportunity. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Um, and did you see the Sideman Charity football match? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, surprisingly good. That yeah, and um, the the I, I saw like a video that circulated that you know Deji was doing like a just a play about spa with uh, speed. with speed. Yeah. Um, do you see that as a potential fight in the future? I mean, of no. course, it's, no. Speed ain't. It's I like speed. Yeah, it's yeah, funny. yeah. Because I know speed guy. is just like focusing on um, YouTube yeah. for now. Anyway. No, De Deji's too ahead. Of, yeah. You know, what I mean, to be worried about fighting someone like that just just yet yeah he, he would need to have fights and first and foremost yeah and uh get experience before he stepped in there yeah i mean did it deji did say a uh, tweet saying like my next opponent but I yeah don't know yeah he, he was joking, joking about yeah, it. He, yeah 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 he, <laughs> was, he was joking around yeah but busy times man we've got a hell of a schedule coming yeah. up man because obviously you've got press conferences coming up um, yeah got to fly to vegas uh not next week the week after fly to vegas for a few days for a press conference uh, then Floyd's coming to London to do a press conference with us. Uh, then uh, we fly out to Dubai about 10 days before the fight. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm busy everywhere, man. And then we've got loads of other fights after that coming up. So. Yeah, man. And I saw your uh, reaction with uh, Fred Talks fighting with uh, when Slim knocked out uh, Faze Temper. Yeah. That was just like, I felt the same in terms of like that shot reaction. Obviously, with, you know, guys like Deji, Kenny, KSI that are on that main event level, you know, the, the pools, obviously. Yeah. Do you see someone in the YouTube world that could be as close to the main event sort of scene? Is there anyone that you got your eye? Because Slim, he did, his, he did sick on his fight against. Yeah, I trained them. Yeah. Kenny and Deji. Yeah. I trained them. Mm. So we're not in this to... Yeah, yeah, not be top tier, you know? Guys. No, of course. In the top tier? Like, they should be very worried, actually. Yeah. So... Yeah. Like with, with my brother, there's been like a lot of negative comments because uh, like, you know, he's been in a couple of controversial fights. Mm. Yeah. But what people have to understand is he started boxing in, in 2021. Yeah. You know what I mean? You tell me what YouTuber has had a quick rapid rise like he has. Yeah. And then goes into the ring against two fighters yep. in his first two fighters that have got all that experience. Mm. One with 10 years fighting experience. You know what I mean? And he, and he, and um, yeah. I definitely enjoyed those fights because it was definitely like technically uh, paced yeah. as well. So w the way we're treating this is like how pro fighters approach their careers. Yes. Building. Why rush them? Of course. You know, build them and give them the right platform. So I ain't rushing my brother. Mm. You know what I mean? He will fight the top tier when we decide we'll mm. fight the top tier. If it's there and we feel like we we want it, then we'll take it. Mm. But at the, at the same time, we're going to be smart. Mm -hmm. He's still learning. Yep. And if he looks like how he does now, yep. um, in, in this... In, in this short space of time, yeah. imagine what he's going to look like in two years. You know what I mean? The potential is there. Yeah, so... Potentials there. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on, um, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Yeah. Um, obviously, uh, Tyson had put, um, you know, a deadline towards uh, Joshua to, you know, sign a contract for their fight. And now it's off the cards. Um, it's, it's off. Like, do you still see that as a potential fight is that still going to happen yeah, I think in that's your the thoughts? only fight really at yeah the, at the moment i think there's a lot of mind games going on yeah you know with tyson fury at the moment mm -hmm. at the end of the day this is what one thing i hate about boxing even though i love boxing yeah. is if two fighters want to fight yeah you're the ones in control if you're as big as aj and right. as big as tyson fury you dictate yeah to the promoters the promoters don't dictate nothing right if you two want to fight then make the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Stop all the messing around. Make the freaking fight. Mm. At the end of the day. You know what I mean? So that's the one thing I hate about boxing. You go back and forth. Oh, he doesn't want to fight. No, he doesn't want to fight. Just fight. If mm. you two want to fight, just make the fight. Yeah. As simple as that. I understand there's a lot of money involved. And then you've got the and promoters and the managers. Within... Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But yeah. at the end of the day, when you get to the pinnacle of your careers, mm. 
you know what I mean? It shouldn't be this hard to make fights. Mm. That's the way I see it. Yeah. And um, obviously with Kenny, like I said, I've just seen you guys train out there. Yeah. Like amazing, like, you know, how you put him through the trenches and stuff like that. Obviously with the last two fights with the FaZe Clan and, you know, very technically gifted as far as like, you know, both competitors for each of the fights. Are you looking towards with Kenny more of sort of the technical style fights like based on him? Because like you said, everyone's different as far as their personalities. Is that where you're leading with Kenny as far as like the type of fighters he'll be facing in the future? I mean, it, all fights are learning fights because everyone brings something different to the table. Yeah. And when you're trying to progress, he needs every kind of style. Mm. Even these fighters that don't really know how to fight, mm. that swing their arms here, left, right and centre because they're... They're sometimes more dangerous than the ones that know what they're doing mm. because they're very unpredictable. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're, we're willing and ready to fight, you know, any style. But um, for Kenny as well, I don't see any other YouTuber stepping in the ring with people with all that experience. Right. You know, they're all fighting bloody Uber drivers, you know, at the moment and knocking them all over. Wow. You know what I mean? He's getting in there with experienced guys and holding his own with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we deserve some of those Uber drivers too. <laughs> <laughs> bring them on, bring them on, as I say. Um, and I just want to touch on you. Like, yeah. like, how are you doing? Um, of course, when, you know, when we talked last time, um, obviously we were talking about um, you know, how you're dealing with B uh, BBD and it's on, you know, day to day that you're going through. Like, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm good. Um, I mean, as I said, every day is, uh, every day, I wouldn't say it's a, I wouldn't say it's a battle. It's just about understanding and, um, you know, the condition. Yeah. And, you know, and, and just every day be better, mm. do better. And um, spread awareness, mm. be a role model, and inspire the world, man. That's what I'm trying to do through boxing, through mental health. I'm someone, as I said, through my background, everything I've been through. And, mm. you know, without putting things on video, there'd be a time and a place where I come out with more details. But I've been through a lot of messed up shit. Yeah. But to stand here today, mm. you know, and never been one to use that as an excuse to go and be a criminal, mm -hmm. um, go and sell drugs mm. or do any of that kind of stuff. I wanted to show people that, listen, you, yes, I've had this kind of life, but this is what you can do if you just keep going, you know, mm. and um, learn to stand on your own two feet because that's what I had to learn to do mm. and not look for anyone else f for help. Yeah. Obviously, I've had some people around me my family and stuff to help me out um but yeah just spread awareness man because not a, lo a lot of people don't know bpd yeah they're like what the hell is that yeah you know so i mean of course you've been doing your own research like we talked about last time and it's something that you're still learning yourself as far as how you're dealing with things on a day-to-day -day. Yes. it looks like you're definitely in a good mental space yeah well, well when people say borderline personality disorder yeah. automatically people think you're a psycho mm. you know what i mean but it's it's not nothing to do with that yeah it's pretty more complex M than just yeah that. it's yeah. My, mine's through childhood trauma right so it affects emotions mm. and how you go about things as an adult yeah with um relationships that you make along the way with friends yeah partners or whatever um you know everyday life yeah you know your emotions are always up and down so you have to keep it so you borderline personality disorder you see you here yeah or down there there's no middle so ground either the extreme high or the extreme low. yeah yeah so right. you have to learn to balance, to really it, balance out it out and work um work on your triggers yeah what things trigger you if you can manage your triggers then you manage your emotions mm. so that's what i do and boxing plays a big part in yeah that. we were talking about it last time that you said that boxing was a form of escapism for you in terms of that because you you were about this life every single day 24 7 no stop but that's what i'm saying so i've had to come out learn to come outside of boxing and work on myself right so and you not use feel balanced in life yeah in general. not use yeah. boxing as a thing as a right. crutch yeah yeah as oh yeah that oh, oh i'm cool yeah. boxing's keeping me cool learn to to because 
Yeah, it's just about emotions, man. I'm not no psychopath or anything like that. Mm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I mean, if that would be the case, I wouldn't be here right now. So, but you It's know, just but, sensitive yeah. emotions. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. If someone told me to F off, mm. I would literally take that. Uh, take it personally. Personally. Right. Like, oh, they're really telling me to F off. Right, so you know, it's yeah. little things like little that, and that's thing, at yeah. a small, small end of the scale. Right, you know what I mean? Or if someone don't tell me they they love me enough, for right. example, you know what I mean? Because all this stuff goes into your to my childhood of not having my parents around. Mm. So it's to, all to do with love, emotion, connection, all that kind of stuff. Is it a thing where you're telling people where it comes to like you know if there's certain things like you're feeling like you said. Um, you know, if someone told you to fuck off, yeah. like literally you would think like, oh, I'm taking it very personally. Is it a thing where you talk to you, you know, those closest to you, like you let them know, like, I don't know what, what could be triggers or just, just so they understand like yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah, so, whereas, so they don't have to feel any which way. Do you know yeah, what I mean? So before I was diagnosed, right? So I've spent my whole life thinking, I can't make sense of why I do certain things or react to certain things in a certain way. Right. So yeah, tech, talking to people actually helps because then because i used to be someone like for example if i sit in a room yeah with like 10 different people and i'm i don't say nothing mm. people will think i'm the rudest person on earth like what's right. wrong with him yeah yeah yeah. he's so rude i don't like him you know what i mean yeah but they don't understand that i'm not quiet yeah or or being rude yeah it's just how I've been my whole life because mm. it's about being comfortable around people. Yeah. When I'm comfortable around you, uh, then you, m most of the time you're going to be a friend. Yeah. Yeah. I Answer. observe from a distance. Yeah. I'm the quietest one in the room. Right. I can observe from a distance and I know who the good people are and the bad people are. Got it. That's how quick my brain is. Yeah. It, so you'll, you'll know very quickly if you think, nah, no, yeah. no, no, not him. Or it'll be like, yeah, yeah, he seems cool. Yeah. I've had, I've had, I've had, uh, my best friend, I've been f best friends with him for 23 years. Wow. One friend. Yeah. That don't have any other friends. Wow. Yeah, I have, I have people I but know. But then it's good to, you know, when it comes to friends, like long-term friends, yeah. like I've, I've only got a few friends I can count on one hand. Yeah. You don't, you know, if you feel that one person has been there all the whole time, you don't need to put a count on how many friends you got to consider yourself popular. Who cares? Yeah. Like if you got friends that have supported you, your your friend you said twenty three years. I've known a friend for, for seven years. I've known one of my longest friends for twenty years and I'm you know, I just know who I'm cool with, but I'm cool with people in yeah. general, like yeah. you said. So Well it's just like, you know, my, you, uh, also with this uh, you know, my wife and kids, for example, you know learning to be a father with this condition is even hard mm. or learning to be a husband with this condition is hard because you know if i've never had a father or mother mm. you know i you know i've found it hard to learn to be a father to my kids not a father i'm i'm always i'm there for my no, kids no no i understand what you're Do saying you know what i mean yeah i understand like, what you're saying you know the like the emotional part yeah you right like i'm a very tough like yeah, don't hard, fuck about like you know, dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine. I've had to really learn how to like fine tune it, fine tune it with the emotional side of Got things. It. And I still, I still find it hard today because when you've had a, when you've not had a mother or father that gives you that that hug, and you're on on your own, you have to learn it yeah, yourself. That meaningful hug, where yeah. everything's gonna be all right. Because I remember you said like when it came to your fighters, like you know, I think you said one of your fighters wanted to hug you, and it's just like. I don't like. I'm cool with that. You yeah. know what I mean. Like, I appreciate the hug, but it's just like, how do I, how do I work this? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we were talking about yeah, that. Yeah. I was like, like, do, do you still feel that way now in terms of like, you know, people like, oh, I yeah. love you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, obviously, when Deji won, like yeah. you just, you know, when Kenny won and Deji won, you were just like, yeah, I got you, I got you, but. Like it oh, well, that's on the, the, well, that's the only time I hug Kenny. Right. <laughs> 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 so when he's one in the wing, it's just like, yeah, that's the only time you get that's a hug from me. That's when, see, that's what I'm saying. There's right. certain situations where you will know that I love you. Mm. You know what I mean? Wow. So in those moments there, yeah. Kenny will know how much he means to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rather than just everyday life kind yeah. of thing. But he, I guess he, in, in he my, understands in my, it. In, yeah. my, in, my in my relationship, yeah. there's, there's certain times in, a, in my relationship that where the, my partner will know how much I love them. Mm. But I don't show it every day. Yeah. But then, you know, if you don't understand me or know me, you can take it the wrong way yeah. and think that I don't care or I don't love you. So right. 
as much as I've got a, as much as I've got to work on myself, people mm. have to also work hard to understand me mm. as well. So it's a, it's a work in progress for like, for not only the people that love you, but then the same for you back. Yeah. So it's work in progress. And then um, finally with, obviously with Deji and Floyd, um, looking forward to it, looking forward to everything that's going yeah. down for it. Uh, predictions, what are we looking at? Deji, knockout, first round, first 30 seconds, and then gonna throw in the towel <laughs> when Floyd gets up and say, we've done our job, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd's got back up, he's ready to kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's and go uh, pull you out the ring now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put the towel in, that's it. Come out, come out, come no, out. No, listen, Yeah. no predictions. Because mm -hmm. it's an exhibition, obviously. It's an exhibition and, you know, I just want Deji to enjoy the, his, the experience and go out there and give his best, give his all. And after that bell rings, he can, he can be proud of himself, you know what I mean, of what he's achieved, mm. you know what I mean? It's going to be emotional, man. It you will know what be. I mean? Because that's, 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 that's my idol right there, yeah. Floyd May, Money Mayweather. Yeah. After the fight, is it a thing where, you know, you'd be, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's like a fanboy moment, but would you just like, you know, you, you'll all be in the ring anyway. Would you be you like know, to I'm say very like, good around famous people. Right. They will never know I'm a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> so you just, you I'm just, so you're cool calm. and calm. Yeah. yeah, I'm kind of the yeah. same really. Like, Even again with Floyd, they will not, I will not so be. So it's not a moment in no, your head. But what I will do with Floyd, I'm going to use it after the fight, I'm gonna use every opportunity to have a discussion with him yeah. about boxing, even if it's just for two minutes, because that for me is, is valuable. vital for my, pro, uh, for my boxing yep. uh, career as a coach. And that's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life to have a conversation about boxing. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and of course, like with Deji uh, as well, like, you know, he's gonna have valuable lessons in the ring with one of the greatest of all exactly. time. And then obviously going forward, there will be other YouTube boxers that he'll be facing as well. Um, I mean, this definitely gives him the upper advantage because obviously Floyd if Mayweather- If Deji turns around to me when he gets in a ring against another YouTuber and go, and, and he has any kind of like worry, I'll slap him around the face. I'll say, what's wrong with you? You've just been in with Floyd freaking Mayweather. What are you worried about him for? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure Floyd Mayweather is going to give him so much confidence. Yeah. You know what I mean? And give him that experience that he needs. I mean, it's Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Enjoy it, man. Get everything you can out of it. Yeah. And then use it. That's going to be with us for the rest of our lives. And then obviously, of course, both of, both of y'all will get the bag. Everyone will get the bag. You know? A bag's always nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. A little bit of bag's a, nice. A, a bit know? of bag's but no, nice. But, but what but you're you saying, know what I mean? valuable experience. You, 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 yeah. One thing before I go, I sure. talk about the bag. People, uh, you know, people want to go, oh, you only do it for the money. So, mm. so what does anyone go to work for? True. What, to not get paid? True. You know what I mean? That's true. So, but you got the person that gets paid and has no passion, or you got the person that's got passion and gets paid. You know what I mean? You rather the latter, right? I've got passion, and if you've got passion and love for something that you do, you're going to get rewarded. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? So everyone has uh, uh, bills. Everyone has uh, mouths to feed. Yep. You know, kids, family, or whatever it may be. You know. Why does anyone do what they do? Mm. Why does anyone get up every day in the morning and go to the office to they, just let some boss talk to them like a piece of shit and, <laughs> and, and not get paid for it? If you're going to get talked yes. to like a piece of shit, yeah, yeah. And then you, you want your money. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? So when people say, oh, you only do it for the money, actually Floyd Mayweather said once upon a time, he goes, this is prize fighting. I'm yeah. meant to get paid. Duh. <laughs> You know what That's I mean? it. Because That's it. if if you don't want to get paid, you'll stay amateur boxer. Mm. You won't be a pro. Yeah. Why turn pro? Yeah. Yes, you want to be world champion, but you want to you want to be financially secure. Mm. And that's with anyone in life, even if you're a doctor, lawyer, anything in life, you want to be financially secure, not only for yourself but for your family, for your kids, and um, live the rest of the life where you don't have to look at your bank account all the time. Yep, and uh, we all want to. We all want to reach exactly. that point. You know? Exactly. Well, Daily, uh, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Um, I always appreciate chatting to you, and um, I can see the passion in your eyes every time that we chat. 
that you are just passionate about what you do. You're passionate about your fighters. You're passionate about the future that's going forward. And and how, how do you see the, um, the idea of influencer boxing? Do you see it staying around for a long time? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. And at first I was the person that was against it. Yeah, I remember before you talked my, about it. You were before thinking, my brother come to me, I, yeah. I was like, what the hell is this yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I got into it, I now I fully understand it. Yeah. And the way they put it across as well is like, we're not trying to come into professional boxing. We're trying to make our own lane. Mm. You know what I mean? Influencer yeah. boxing and make their own lane. If some cross over to the pro world. Yes. Yeah, fine. That'd, that'd be fantastic. Fine. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do as a coach, as I train professionals, is bring professionalism into YouTube boxing, mm. as in, you take it serious, you be dedicated, and you give everything every single day. So when you step in that ring, people can turn around and go, wow. Wow. He looks like a real fighter and yeah. not, not a clown. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, and I can see with Kenny and Deji, they look, they look the part, they are the part. They are the future. They are the future. They are the future. Well, thank you so much, bro. I really do appreciate your time. Respect, man. Uh, I don't want to hold you up much longer. I know you've got more famous shit to do, so I ain't going to hold <laughs> you up. If you could tell our audience where they can catch you, uh, you know, if there's anything you wanted to promote, the floor is yours, my dude. Um, YouTube, The Daily Effect, and don't put D-A-I-L-Y. I'm not every day, all right? <laughs> I love that. Like Daily Thompson. Yeah. yeah. Right? D-A-L-E-Y. So The Daily Effect on YouTube. The Daily Effect on Insta, The Daily Effect on TikTok, if you want to have a little laugh, and The Daily Effect 1 yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, and you got your merch as well. Um, there's like a limited uh, limited stock that you got at the moment. I saw your stories earlier. Yeah, I'll but... have what I'm having. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I'll, ha I'll, have, what I'm, I'll have what I'm having. I'll have I what I'm that. having. Yeah. I love that. But, bro, thank you so much, nice man. Nice one, man. I really do appreciate Respect. it. I'll let you go. Thank you. Do your thing. J-Bills, Media Spotlight UK, Daily Paralysis. To be with Deji up against Floyd Roy, Money Mayweather. Money Mayweather. In November, is it in November? Coca -Cola November thirteenth, Coca-Cola Arena, Dubai. Damn. And we out here. Peace.